for the month of February 2018. This is a general reading for Leo Sun, Leo Rising, or Leo Moon. For a more rounded overview, please watch your rising and moon sign as well. You can join me on Facebook and Instagram for daily insights on tarot and astrology, as well as my pay-per-view channel, vimeo.com slash thealchemistastrologer, where you can find on-demand pages for love, finance, and other readings. Your weekly readings will always be free here on YouTube, but if you'd like to support me on Patreon, I'm now at patreon.com slash thealchemistastrologer, and all of this information is down below in the description box. Now, the underlying energy is this death card. So for some of you, there's an important tie to Scorpio. Otherwise, this is about, again, making those important changes. Some of you, you're, you're having to finish up some old business. And you're closing some things out. You're making some changes. And again, you're working on your freedom. You want to be liberated. You want to leave the past behind. Those lifestyles, those attitudes, those thoughts that don't work for you, that don't serve you. And even if you're resistant, that wheel is going to turn. There is some change coming and it's inevitable and likely irrevocable. But as much as it may be uncomfortable, it's also going to be empowering. You know, freedom feels good. You're going to feel a sense of renewal. There's some transition taking place where you're having to either try to transform something and revitalize it, renew it, or you're purging it. You're cutting out the dead wood. And initially, you may feel a sense of grief, a sense of loss, because there's some kind of ending that has to take place before you get to this new beginning. Now, for some of you, there's a change in your status. That status could be your connection to another person. Maybe there's some changes in your marriage, in your divorce. Maybe you're going to have a, a baby. Maybe, maybe you're going to become a parent. Maybe you're going to start a new job. But maybe you're going to have to end some things first. You maybe have to quit your old job before you go to the new one. Or you want to start a relationship, but you got to close out the first one. Or now you're not just going to be carefree and, you know, single, you and your partner. Not, now you're, there's a baby in the mix. So there are some changes that are taking place. And you're letting some things go. You are reincarnating, regenerating. So you may be undergoing some major change or you may be meeting people who are agents of change in your life. Whatever it is, there's something you're facing on either end of the spectrum. Perhaps some fantastic opportunity or some incredible challenge. And you're going to have to meet your best self. You're going to have to find a new self in order to survive. You're going to change who you are. And this is going to be a period where you're, you're going to welcome these changes because you're going to be looking at where you haven't been growing, where what has been deteriorating, what has been stagnant, what's old, what's confining, what's uncertain, what's unstable. And you're going to want to get away from that. Because this is a period where you want to build on your security and you want to provide for yourself and you're motivated about that. So again, you could be making some changes in your relationship. All of them won't be ending. They may just be transforming. You may be changing some aspect. You may be tweaking your partnership so that they work out better for you. And maybe you're forming new ones or you're resuming old ones, but you're making changes. And you're willing to go with the flow. There could be some curveballs this month, but you're willing to deal with the unpredictability of it all in order to get to that solid ground. Now, again, some of you are stuck. You are stuck and tempted to keep going over unpleasant circumstances. And you're doing it because it allows you 
to stay at war. It's a lot easier to decide that you can't do this or that because of this other person or this circumstance. And so you close yourself off to opportunity to other people because if you if you don't go with that, then it means you're in accountable for creating change. Now, this could be a month where some secrets are released. There's something about your situation that either you're so focused on one thing that you can't look at anything else. There's something you're not seeing. In some cases, there's something that you're hiding. And for some of you, the change is going to take place because the past is being stirred up. And there may be need for change. Something may need to come to the light. And... The death card is all, you know, it has a deep connection to Pluto. And Pluto is about digging deep, finding that hidden treasure. What is lying beneath a situation? And it frequently shows up, you know, maybe in some form of stress or crisis or something very intense in order to create that transformation. So some of you may be focused on issues of intimacy, sexuality, or uh, your value system versus someone else's, or jointly held resources or property. Uh, maybe you're dealing with you know, forms of large sums of money that are tied to inheritance or legacies or wills or insurance or debts or mortgages. Others of you, you know, this could be having some kind of psychological breakthrough. And some of you, you know, maybe there's a healing issue where you have to make some decisions about having surgery or, you know, just creating some kind of deep change. Now, some of you, you you become your own little island. You don't want to work things out. You don't want to work on making some changes in your partnerships. When the opportunity arises to have a discussion, to clear the air, you decide to close off, to turn off, to walk away. And obviously, that's not moving you forward. And the longer you decide to stay stuck in that place, in denial, in resistance, then your situation is not going to improve. You're going to stay hanging in limbo. Now, the death card can frequently bring issues of power struggles, manipulation, obsession, compulsions, underhanded uh, maneuvers, backroom bargaining, and those may be issues at hand. But this is also about your own power, the power to regenerate, to renew, to reinvigorate, and that's going to be tested. So you're facing something in some aspect of your life, whether it's materially, physically, emotionally, psychologically, and how determined you are to deal with it, what your survival instincts are and how they kick in decides whether you're going to reach the mountaintop and find a better path. Now, this is going to be an especially emotional or significant month for you. You have three major cards, and you're ending on a major card, which says that to a large degree, a situation is out of your hands. And it's focused on your, your status, your attempts at success, at recognition, at achievement, at you know, dealing with authority figures, being seen as an authority, and how stable your circumstances are, your your sense of security, how you fit into the group, uh, where you stand as far as the situation. And you are, you know, trying to cope with something, and maybe you're having to stand alone in the middle of some warring partners that are taking place. Uh, there's something that you're facing that may be a long shot proposition and adaptability is going to be your key. The ability to reinvent yourself, how you adapt to a situation determines whether you survive. Again, this could be a decision, making some decisions about money, about the future, about travel, about changes in your collaborations, uh, there's something going on here where it's a case of divide and conquer. And somebody is going to take over. They're going to take over the unrest in a situation and they're going to declare law. 
They're going to lay down the law. They're going to try to improve the situation because there's some debate going on between parties where everybody's weighing in, they're giving their point of view, and yet at the end of the day, nothing is getting resolved. So somebody's going to step in because while all of this is taking place, there are casualties of this. Somebody is suffering. All right, Leo, I hope you enjoyed this reading. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss anything. And of course, you can always book a personal reading at thealchemistastrologer.com.